Right, so we left off the last stream where we had worked out the surroundings of Quasi. So we've got an array. Now he's, um, he seems to do this um, every evening. He sleeps most of the day because he's, he's 14 stroke 15. But because he's, um, he's being, he, the, he, they say he's got dementia. So because he's got dementia, he thinks he's a pup. So he has these moments of, he has these periods of madhouse, you know, bounces around in the garden and all that. Will not leave Nico alone. So he's only, he's only whining because Nico's underneath my chair like, go away, get away from me. <laughs> and so he's, he's whining. Look, you should leave him alone, mate. I don't care. I don't care. Just leave him alone. So that's that's all. He's not in pain. We know that. Um, he's uh, he's doing all right. That's that for this. That's it. Calm down, mate. Calm down. Right. Back to what we're doing. So we left it off last week. So we'll start again. Left it off. Uh, oh, not last week. Monday, where we got. We got the worked out the characters around Quasi, and we've made a six byte array of the important bit, the important places of Quasi. So we've got the left character, the right character, the two characters that he's standing on. <laughs> Calm down, mate. The two characters that he's standing on, and the two characters that are bit behind the, the behind him. So so we can. <laughs> That's it, calm down mate. Right, so we should be able to take that array that we um, derive every cycle and then use the the attributes which we've got here, so the material codes that we've got here, to work out whether he can move left or right, whether he can climb a ladder, whether he's fallen onto something dangerous and and hit a rope and stuff like that. So what, hopefully in this stream, we're going to, hopefully, we're gonna get him to walk and then if it's a wall, we're gonna stop. We're not gonna do the physics engine, we might, we'll do that in another stream. And it, if, if we can do it, get him to climb the ladder. So we want, want him to be able to interact with his surroundings, so that's the sort of thing I want to do. And also, I was thinking while we was off stream the other day, um, this this collision system can can be used for any of the sprites. So, as long as we time it right, yeah, we could get it to look at the quasi sprite, see what's around him, then deal with it. Then look at all the other sprites. If we if we've got, let's say, we've got an enemy that's walking and he's only allowed to walk on a platform, we don't want him falling off. We want him to detect that there's nothing there. Turn around and then walk back. Yeah. So we could we could use this collision system for all the sprites that we're gonna we're gonna be doing on there. So like the fireballs, if we we could put fireballs in certain places, and spawn it in one place and then let it go across the screen and if it hits the wall we could say right that's the end of that that sprite that's gone and then materialize it back at the start so it you know that sort of thing so it's um th this is going to be very useful in more than just quasi but we're, we're only concentrating on quasi at the moment so we're going to try and see if we can in make Use what we derive and see if we can interface. <laughs> He's down here. He's trying to still trying to get Nico. <laughs> Leave him alone, mate. Right. So 
What do we need to do? Um, it's going to have to be in the quasi logic. It's got to be in the quasi logic. Because we also need to work out a death scene as well. So when we test for the fire that he dies. But. Yeah, we need a, I also need a constants as well. Gain constants, that's what we're using, isn't it? So, um, so, uh, map, um, what have we got? What have we got? So we got an empty block. It's your own fault, mate. You shouldn't annoy him. Yeah, it's all right. It, sh it shouldn't annoy him. That's <laughs> Nico's underneath my chair. Right, so we need some constant. So we need, where are we? We need a constant to say it's an empty block. <laughs> empty, empty. Then solid. I think that was the next one. <laughs> they can all hear you, mate. Yeah. Uh, ladder. So a ladder's two. What else we got? Oh, danger. And then rope. Right, so we'll use these as our constants. Whoops. So we're going to use these as our constant. So when we test the um, the array, um, we can then work out what we're doing. And also, we need to make some constants for the array. So the um, got to work this out. So as we're looking at the screen, left, right, <laughs> right. So um, left. Left equals zero. Uh, so left center, right center, right, uh, left bottom, right bottom. So left center. Right center. Right. Left, uh, left bottom, and right bottom. So these are the in. All right, mate, we'll see you later. Find yourself a charger, mate. So these are the indexes in the array. So left center, right center. I don't know if red center is the right word. Left. Body? It'll do. So these are the, our indexes for the array. So we can test the indexes so we know what we, what we need to do. Right, so. It's just in the quasi cut flow uh, logic now. So um, let's, let's just... Uh, Fire him up because I want to put him in a place where we can where we can interface. So yeah, down there that'll do. 
So if we can get down to this level, then we can test whether... Um, it. The first thing I want to do is try and see if we can stop him hitting the wall. So we'll do that, but let's... Uh, I haven't got any other places, so what we'll do is we'll load it in and we'll modify it so we can uh, change the map. Right, jaw pad. So we're using, what are we using? Um, we're still using the old one, aren't we? Yeah, V216. V216. Right, let's put... Let's put another wall here. So let's grab... Yeah, they're all set. So let's grab that, and we're going to put... It's... Uh, that I want in it. Grab that and do that. Right, save. Let's export it. Right, let's see if it's uh, if it's done it. So we should end up with a wall. There we go. So there we got a wall. So I want to port him. Um, Somewhere there. I think. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure we can default it there. Um, oh, that's a, that's a good point, John. That's too far off the screen. Okay. Um, we'll we'll use this. We'll use this screen. So we'll undo that, and we'll put one there and one there. It's your own fault, mate. It's your own fault. You won't leave him alone. Right, so we're going to see if we can test both left and right where it can hit the walls or, or a solid block. So if it hits a solid block, he can't move. So we're going to drop him down. We'll drop him down to about here just to get him on the right level. So I need the game logic and set. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. That's the X. No, it's the Y. This one. So we'll drop it down. A bit further. Just to give us an idea. That'll do. Right. So we now need to, in the update game, we know which direction Quasi's going, yeah? Because we've worked that out from our control routine. Now in here, this is where we are now going to act on that control. So we should have that array already set up. That array should have already been evaluated because it's in the game cycle. It's doing it every time. So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So, um, we're not stopping. That's idle. Right, going right. Mate, stop it. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I know, but it's fine. It's just because he can't get to Nico. Right. 
Calm down, mate. So here, this is where we are adding to X. So this is going right. So we need to check before we apply the addition, can he move? Has that, is the block going on his right, right hand side, solid block or not? If it's a solid block, then we've got to avoid it. Yeah, so we've got, we can't do it. So what we need to do here is then load our collision dot that. Uh, da, 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 da. Just make sure it's collision. Yeah. Comma X. Right. So we're not bothered about X or Y. So LDX hash and it's map index. Oh, I, can't, I forgot what I called it now. Index right. So we're loading X with the map index right, and then we're going to load it to find out what it is. Now, we're saying if it's a solid block, so compare with that. If it's not equal to a solid block, we should be allowed. We should allow them to move. So it, if it is equal to a solid block, then we need to just literally end. So we need to come down here. So we'll put a label in there. So end going right. Right. So if it, it's not equal to the solid block, then we perform it. We allow it to go ahead. So, but if it is equal to solid block, we should not, we should not take the instruction. So, um, just to see what else we need to do. In fact, we don't need to go there. We can go here. Right, so let's try this out. Ooh. Okay. Map index right. Hmm. Or have I put in the wrong one? Yes, I have. Hang on. Put it in the wrong one. Right, that should now do it. There we go. So, we're going right. Does he stop? Here we go. Alright. <laughs> that isn't bad. That is that's not bad. He likes he he likes if it looks like he face plants. Well that looks not too bad. Oh I'm happy with that. Right, so that's the right hand side. So left hand side, we do exactly the same. 
So let's let's grab this. And where's the left? Right, going left. So it's after the jump and after the animation. Okay. So after the jump, after the animation, here. Oh, same label. Oh, I like it. So now we're going to be looking at the left index of the array and we're checking to see if it's a solid block. So this might be quite <laughs> thing. <laughs> I've said that now and it's not going to work now. Right, so that's the right hand side. Oh, look at that. It's just. Thought this might happen. Hmm. Thought that might happen. So we need to. That's a character almost, isn't it? Ooh. But we can cheat. We could cheat. Um. Let me try something. Instead of doing um, the leftmost one, let's do the center left. Let's see if that gives us a better result. So, we're all right going that way. Ooh. Oh, I like that. I need to put the blocks back on. I need to put the blocks back on. Have I still just did I still have the target block in? Yes, I did. Right. Let's put the target block in. Uh, two, two, four. So we're reading it and then we're going to put the target block in. Just want to see where these um, where it's reading. Yeah, it's reading way out there. I mean that that's pretty far away. That is. I mean that's okay going that way. Let's start that again. To be honest, maybe we don't need that. Maybe we don't need that because Let's get the sprite editor up.
What? Yeah, he's. I mean, he's filling it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. He's filling it up. So maybe we don't need to, because the our character we're testing the character from that point there. So that's the center left character. Then we've got the center here, and I think the left ca the the right character starts there. So that's the right character there, and then we've got center right, which comes to about there, center left, and then left. Right, I don't think we need to worry about the leftmost, the leftmost um, character, because we're never going to get there. And as you saw, it's really far out in certain respects. So, let's do that, let's get rid of it. So we head towards that. I think we can get away with that. I do believe we can get away with that. Right, so let's get rid of this and see if, see if the ladder causes us issues. So let's just put it back. Save it, we export it. Right, so we shouldn't have a wall on that side now. There we go. So it goes through there, boom. Yeah, I think that's working. Now, the question here is, if the platform's at head level, head level, like there, are we bothered about it? Are we actually bothered that he's, he can, there's a, a thing there? So it's like, it would be similar to like Manic Miner. You remember when Manic Miner used to jump and he could jump through the platform? I'm not too, sh I'm not too bothered that we can walk through hot you know platforms yeah I'm, I'm the same I don't think that's an issue as long as as long as if that plat if this platform was down here he should stop yeah if the platform was down there he should stop because that's the whole point but at head height I think we're fine So we should stop there. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it's not perfect, but I think it's close enough. Right. So we need to be able to. Add, we need to add some. We need to add some more functionality. Now we need to be able to climb a ladder. So, to climb a ladder, we need the ladder at his feet. So, we need, the, we need to test this cell here. If he's, if he's there, he can't climb a ladder. We should not allow be able to climb a ladder. But then again, should we? Should we allow the flexibility of, uh, say, Bruce Lee, where he could climb a ladder from the <laughs> in that position? <laughs> uh. Well, 
We'll we'll do it where we'll we'll test we'll test the center we'll test the center right cell. If the center right cell is over a ladder, then we should be able to go up and go down. Alright. So Yeah. So this is new stuff. We haven't got him going up and down yet. We haven't even got him any animation for going up and down yet. So we'll just stick with the idle. The idle. So we need to go into the controls. And we need to add the controls to say up and down. Right, where's controls? There it is. Right. So let's see. Um, so we've got A and D left and right. Yeah, A and D is left and right, and we've got L for jump. So I presume A and X, W and X, left up and down. Let's try that. So let's just grab this. Add it in. So this. So we're doing W and X. The K key. Oh, the K key. That's the kill key. So no, that's okay. So we are. We need to go here. On that one. And we need to go here for that one. And then that goes to the kill key. Right, so we need some more constants. So quasi direction. So direction up. We'll just say it's up. Um, and that will be. Because up is going, Y is going smaller, yep. And direction down is one. And direction stood still is exactly the same. So, um, now. We need another. Need another variable. Variable game storage. So we've got quasi direction. So we need to change that. So we need to do a find and replace. Copy that. So find that, replace it with that. Go. There we go. So we've now got quasi horizontal direction and And we'll have a vertical direction. So that'll be A, E, O2, A, E. We're not encroaching on anything else yet. No, right. So, got a new one. Grab that. So, W is direction up. Store it in that. And this is uh, direction down, 
store it in that. And that is not L, that is X. And this is W. But we need the I we need to set the idle as well. I'm just wondering if we do set the idle. Where's the game logic? So it must be an update quasi where they set it back to idle. So let's have a look. Let's just have a quick nose. Do we set it back to idle? It's amazing what you forget. Oh, it's not in there. Here we go. So we must, um, we must set. Hey. Hey, matey. So we must set it somewhere. We'll have to find it. We'll have to find it. Direction stood still. Let's see if we can find it. Because we need to set the same for the... Uh... In fact, we need to look for that. Here we go. Direction stood still. It is in the controls. Okay. So this is saying if nothing has been touched, then we need to set it that quasi stood still. But this is this one's gonna have to be V. That'll do. Now I need to do the joystick versions as well. So um let's do that so we are testing oh we've got up for jump that's gonna have to be fire we'll have to change that to fire ooh have we not got that in there Check up, check down, check left, check fire. Yeah, it's there. So if it's not equal to, we are coming to here. Right, so now we're checking up and down. So if it's not, check, we're checking test for up. Test for down. Right, so this is going up. V. Down. Right. 
so we've done that now we need to we need to update quasi to do that so let's see where we're going um if quasi's direction is idle then we're idle but we need to test i suppose uh do we need to test do we need to test the vertical because we set them at the both the same time nope that's fine right so continue we go left going right going left so that's h um so going left is here so we need to do the same we need to do the test again um, so we need to do this test again for going left because uh, No, no we don't. No we don't, we need to, um, we need to check the vertical independently. So in game control, we need we need to change game control. We need to take that out because that's the last thing we need to do it. We need to do it right at the beginning. So we set this and then the end result is either one is one set or both are set. Depend if you press two buttons at the same time. I should do it. So in here we need to treat them independently. So um, we need to, yeah. I'm gonna have to split this up I think. Because what we don't want is if if the horizontal is going idle because we're going up, we don't want him looking like he's being idle. Um, even though he will be, because we haven't got an animation set for him going up. So we need to. I need to break this down a bit. Um, we need to make this into because he's a bit big. But what we'll do is, um, see this is quasi end. And I don't think, no. So this continue. So we're testing the horizontal. So going right, what happens to going right? Jump, sort out, um, sort out quasi end. That is there, okay. What's right? Um, that's right and left is doing the same thing. I 
Okay, yeah, we can do this. Um, so it says essence, we're doing the same thing again. We also need another one of these as well. Let's do a quick search for that. And we need to change it to say previous H direction. So, right, game storage. And we need another one. Previous V direction, just in case we need to do it. Just in case. Right. Don't need that. Need that. So in here. We're going to replace that with process vertical. Process vertical control. And then I'm pasting that in because we're still going to use that as our um, as our exit point. So this is so this is process horizontal control here. So we are going to grab all of this. Evening mate. So we're going to grab all of this. And I'm going to put it in there. And then we're going to change it. Change it all. So we're now looking at vertical direction. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah it's, a, it's a bit just here. It's a bit sore. Um, my um, my surgical incision point um, got infected. Uh, I went to the hospital, and um, instantly they admitted me. <laughs> the, the the surgeon only looked at it for one second, and instantly said, "Yeah, we're admitting you." And then I was in hospital for four hours, and uh, while they did. While well, the surgeon did some major surgery, so it, the painkillers are helping, but it, uh, it's a bit sore. But better that than the infection running wild. <laughs> My other arse laughing because she forced me. <laughs> yeah, she's been bugging me to ring the hospital <laughs> for two weeks. <laughs> and I went, hey, it's fine, it's fine, you yeah. know. Like us blokes normally do. Yeah, it's fine. Until this morning when it wasn't. Anyway. But yeah, I'm fine. It's just a bit sore. Not allowed to lift anything again. Yeah, it gets at me out of work. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm... But go go back on Tuesday uh, so they can check that everything's okay. Right. So we're, we're doing exactly the same as the horizontal. Now, the thing is, with the horizontal, when, if the horizontal's idle, we can't really set, can't really set that that's idle. Because we te if we're, do if we're testing horizontal and vertical simultaneously, if you, if the, if he stood still, but you could be going up. You don't want to have the the stood still animation there. <laughs> oh dear. 
No, I was the Bionic Man before, before they took it out. So. So what we need to do is we need to make him idle when he's both idle horizontally and idle vertically. So here where it says where we are idling uh, horizontally, what we need to do is we need to then jump to the um, process vertical. Yeah. So we need to process vertical because, yeah, because then if the horizontal's idle and then we process the vertical and that's idle, that's the point to make Hunchback just sit there. So, so we're not going to be setting it idle in the horizontal space we're going to set him idle in the vertical space which is here all right so we're setting him idle and so we need to make all these to be v's so i need to find them all first uh, we are not doing anything with jumping so we will ignore that V V V Let's just make sure we get them all. Right, that looks like we're okay. Get rid of that. In fact, that is just coming out, isn't it? Yeah, we can get rid of that. In fact, we'll rem it out. Right. So, uh, process vertically. So, idle comes in. Load the previous direction, which is either uh, pre oh previous horizontal direction. That's the one. Uh, da, 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 da. Set the animation for left or set the animation for right. And then we go to there where he stood still and then we return to sender. Okay. So now continue is branch if plus to. So plus is going down. So that means the other one is going up. So we'll do the first one, which is going down. Now we're not jumping. Because jumping is based around the horizontal, you know. So uh, load the previous. If it's equal to zero. So this is going right. So we'll leave it at right. So we need some more constants and some more storage. So where is that? Where is that? Right, okay. So we'll do the same. So we are the run speed. So we should have we should have a climb speed. Game constants. Here we go. 
So we should have a climb speed. That'll do. So here is climb speed. But instead of X, we do right down, Y down, and we change this to Y down. Load the sprite, quasi sprite, and we are adding to Y. We are adding to Y. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um, we don't need to do this. This is all about scrolling now. So we're not testing the scrolling anymore because we're not doing the um, not doing that anymore because this is why. So that goes to there. Get rid of that. Now that is going to here. Right, that's down. So now we're doing up. Don't need that. We're setting the left animation, so we'll leave it. Climb. Climb. So this is uh, Y up. Y up. Y up. So this is Y. And then sub from Y. And we don't need to do this. This is all scrolling again. That would have been that. Now, we are not checking for solid blocks, so we'll run that out for the moment. But I'm going to leave it in because we need to... There we go. Right, so that... That should work. <laughs> Famous last words. Right, let's see if I've broken it. No. Right, so we should be able to go up and down now. Oh, down's not going down, it's going up. <laughs> uh, control, control, control. I bet that's in the control. Um... No? Oh, that's joystick. Hang on. It was a keyboard I was doing. Yeah, got up on both of them. X is down. Right. So let's just 
Oh, that's not good. It's not good. What have I bust? Oh, I know. Right, so here. So what we're going to do here is we'll LDA the horizontal compare it uh, and branch it equal to um, So that's confirming it stood still. So vertical is set to stood still and horizontal. If it's not, if the horizontal is not, then we need to jump to the exit, which is here. That should solve it. Hopefully. Try it. Right, so we're all right. Oh. Oh, it did it. Oh, oh, there, it did it there. I'm wondering whether I should test for both controls at the same time or not, or just do it in sequence. Because you're not going to do this, are we? Are we going to do this? Oh, that's going up and down. Hang on. No, no, let's, um, Um, process for, I think, all these, right. So when we process the X, when we process the horizontal, we'll send it here. We're not going to go through the vertical because it's throwing a, f throwing a fit. So let's find them all. So no, that's going there. No, that's going there. Right, that should do it. <sighs> Trust me to break it. Well, it's going up. 
and he's going down. Well, going up is okay, and going down is okay. It's just that, or well, that. So when he's going in the same direction again, uh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, okay. I wonder if we need to do that. Let's just check. Oh, oh, I see what's going on. Let's get rid of that. Don't think we need that either. Right, let's see if I fixed it. Ooh. Where's that at? Line 269. Let's put it back in. Right, 269. Oh, it's here. Yeah, that'll do. That'll fix it. Right. Let's see if we've fixed it. Right, I'm going that way. Carry on going that way. There we go, that's better. Right, so he still stops at the wall. Still stops at the wall. So what I want to do now is, if he's there and I try going up, he doesn't go up. Yeah? And same with down. And if he's there, if I go up, he goes up, but then I want, we need to make him stop, yeah? We need to make him stop. So let's see if we can get that coded in there. So it's all about the vertical now. So going up. here so going up so this is where this comes in so let's reactivate this and we said that if the left do we say the left center or did we say the right center we said the right center didn't we if the right center of the collision array is equal to is equal to a ladder it's equal to a ladder then we don't want it to do it. If it's not equal to a ladder, uh, sorry, if it's equal to, yeah, if it's equal to a ladder, so it's not equal. If it's not equal, then we don't want to do it. Right, let's see, let's see if we're on the ballpark there. So let's run over. Come on, Quasi. You're gonna get thinner when I've finished with you. Right, so we're there. So I'm gonna go up. Oh, look at that. Right. Now, oh, that stop bang on. Right, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Yeah, that stop bang on. Oh, I like that. Right, so down. Now, we need to, we need to check that we are going down, yeah? So, let's go back to down. So here, 
Now, for down, we need to check. We need to check underneath him, don't we? We need to check underneath him. So that is. Um, so we'll use the same one, bottom right. So we're using the bottom right like we've used the centre right. So we'll load that in and we are going to go what you. Ladder. Now if it's not equal to the ladder, we want it to bypass it. So we really, oh, that may be too far a jump. Okay, so we need to do this. So if it's equal, then perform ladder descent. So if it's equal to the ladder, perform ladder descent. And the only reason I'm doing that, because I think the jump to here is too far, because we've got two macros in there. Right, let's try that. So F6. So we shouldn't be able to go up there. Nope, and we should not be able to go down either. Nope. Right, let's see if we can climb the ladder which we know we can do. Let's just make sure I ain't broken it. So we're gonna climb the ladder. Now can we come down it? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Um, that's because it's testing here now. I think we can get away still. Hmm. But the problem is we need it up here, don't we? I can do something about that. Um, so if the la if if the ladder below him is not a ladder, so that's here, then let's test the one. Let's test the one actually on him. Uh, da, da, da. This is not going to go right, is it? So if we then, if so, if if what's below him is not a ladder, but what's behind him is, now that that sounds right. Up you go, down you pop. Oh! <laughs> now we've got a problem. He's stuck. He's stuck. Yeah, the red seems to give an indication that he's something's not right. Along, 
go down and he's stuck right Somewhere along the line, it thinks that we are... Right, let's do Shift F6. Let's find out what's going on. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was looking at, mate. That's what I was looking at. Uh, right. Um, what, what bike range are we looking at? Bike range. So we're looking at map array. There we go. Four eight hundred. So that's what we're looking for. Four eight hundred. Right. So four eight hundred is here. So this is our map array. All right. So this is telling us what we what we've got below us, yeah. That's not right. That can't be right. No, that's not us. Uh, where are we then? Uh, three six something, wasn't it? Last collisions. That's what I'm after. Collision library. Three five a four. Is that it? Yeah. Three five a four. That's what I'm after. There we go, there's our array, there it is. Right, let's just boost this up. There we go, so it moves a bit quicker. So, he's saying that we're on fire and on a solid block. Now we're on two solid blocks. Okay, so we hit the ladder here. So as you can see, we've got nothing on Behave light. Um, we've got nothing here. Then we've got ladder ladder, which is the two centre points, and then a solid block, and then there's two solid blocks underneath us. Right, up we go. And then we'll walk away. And then we'll go back. So, we've got two ladders below us, so we'll go down, yeah look, everything's set to one, and Andy's right, look, if you, right, let's get down to another screen, is it that one, he's just, he's just down a pixel too far. So basically, uh, no, but I've uploaded it to Twitch. Um, hang on, I thought it was active. Hang on. Oh, it's not active, hang on. There you go. There you go. I've put it on Twitch. I, I re-uploaded re it back to Twitch. What I'm going to try and do is Twitch allow you... When you do live broadcasts, they delete them after two weeks, yeah? But if you upload to Twitch, they'll keep it forever. So what I'm thinking of doing is uh, when, the, when the episodes get deleted, I'm going to re-upload them um, for... 
a couple of months and then we'll get rid of them because we're bound to be on to something else by then. Uh, right, okay. Um, Quasi starts about two pixels higher. Well, he certainly... What? Can I get this big screen? There we go. He's definitely... Right, let's restart this. So, um, I think it's that, isn't it? There we go. Right. Let's leg it. What are we on? You're right. He's a lot higher up, isn't he? Definitely a lot higher up. So if I go down, yeah, he's now too far down. So we need to, we need to see, we need to, um, maybe I need to change my tests around. Yes, we're going to be putting a gravity engine in it. But what I'm thinking is, maybe I should be testing the centre block first, and then the bottom block. But then... Yeah, so if, yeah, if you walked off the ladder, he would naturally fall to the ground when we put the, when we put the physics engine in. It's just now working out the test because what's happening here, it's saying we're looking at the right bottom. Is it a ladder? Yes, it is. Do the descent. But if it's not, that means it's found a solid block. Then... Um, is the... Um, what he's standing on it's this it's this that's causing the problem here because if i do that and then f6 oh wrong place right so we're there go up walk away walk back come down there because it's it's now detected that that block, I mean to be honest, it's it's a long way down. That is a long way down. It's the bot the bottom block should be this one, unless it's just crossed over. No, there's something wrong there. Let's just turn the bottom blocks on. Let's just turn the bottom blocks on. Uh, collisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna turn the bottom blocks on. See what, see where it's saying they are. Right, so it's saying there the bottom blocks. Now it's not going to come down because we've put the markers in now.
Okay. So you're saying that these should be his feet here. Is that what you're saying? So these are the two blocks that he should be seeing. Okay. We can move the offset. Yeah, that's the start position. Well, let me take the um, let me take the tests out, yeah. So we can go up and down at will. Yeah. Right. So we can fl we can go up and down at will. So let's see, when we go up, where does that block come in? For some reason it won't let me go down. Have I left a test in? Going up. Oh. Ah. Right. So if he's down a little bit, it's always going to pick that. So that's an awful long way that is, isn't it? To pick that up there. Maybe, maybe, okay. Let's, uh, maybe, 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 let's, so that's going up, we know that works okay. So going down, maybe we need to just do this. Right, we'll take the, uh, we'll take the blocks away. See what happens. Now it can't go down because that uh, rats. But then again, hang on. Then again, so we can't go down because we're testing the wrong block. Right, we're testing the block, what he's on at the moment. So for going down, so we're testing that. So if it doesn't find the ladder where he is, then we need to test below. That's what we need to do. do that so 
If it's not there, then we'll test below. If the below block is a block, then perform it. If it's not, that means that's not a block. That's not a block. You shouldn't move. Right, let's see what happens now. Do, 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 do. He's going to be a lot thinner by the time I finish with him. Right. Up we go. Move away. Come back. Down we go. Oh, he's gone a pixel too far. But I think Oh he's, he, he went a pixel too far. Yes. Right. So you're saying move a character at a time. No, you move. You, you, the fluid motion is still a character at a time, yeah? So you press down, he moves a character, but it's the fluid motion. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Just thinking how we could try. Uh. Yeah. It's amazing that works going up, bang on, but coming down. Uh
Oh, thinking, 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 thinking. Um, going to have to think about this. Yes, going to have to think about this. Um, So that's that that test is only there that test is only there for when we start He's not going to let me move because I've still got those tests in. Maybe. Maybe. Right, that's clearly not right. Okay.
So. Let's, um... I think that's gone the wrong way, hasn't it? Yeah, it's gone the wrong way. Do, 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 do. Right. Now that can't happen going up. That can't happen going up. But that's okay going down. So when he goes down, there we go, that's the next one. Next one. Next one. Uh, you've been blessed, by the way. Um, maybe... Maybe I need to think about this a bit more. Because you can't do that going up, because that means he's in the wall. It's got to be something that I'm not seeing. Gotta be something I'm not seeing.
Right. This is what I'm checking, right? This is what I'm checking. These these are the points that I'm checking. So if we go up. If we go up, the row is what is currently, but we're still checking the two center points, yeah? So if I move across and then come down, we're still checking those two points there. They're the two points that is, but they are further down. I mean, to be honest, that has only just gone in. Going up's okay. Next set. Next set. Going down. It's just too far, isn't it? Yeah, it does, does the two extremes, left and right, what is on, and then the two beneath. No, we're not checking two above him, no. So forget the bottom, we'll just check what he's on. But the thing I've got, the problem with that is on the way down, he won't be able to go down because he needs to check that he's on a ladder. Now, there is a way, there is a way of resolving that. There is a way of resolving. Let's just, let's just see. Let's just see. So he, he'll still go up. Alright, so he still gets stopped by the bricks. He goes up, he stops, we walk away. Now the problem is we can't come down. Now there's a way of solving that. Uh, so what we can do is um, I want Character picker, right. So I need um, that to go there. Oh, no, no, come on. No, okay. Is it that one then? Goes there, goes there. That'll do. And then we will grab that and put it there. Right, save that. File. Save. File export. 
Come back here. F6. So it goes up. Now, this is where the gravity engine would take up. Yeah, so he, fall, he, he goes to the top of the ladder, jumps off it, gravity engine would bring him back down, yeah? So we'll, we'll bring him down. Oh, I can't bring him down. <laughs> right. So let's pretend he's there. The gravity engine's picked him up. And so he comes back onto here and then we come down. And he goes down one too far still. So it's not our checks that's the problem, it's the problem that we're testing the block that he's on and he's just moved into that block by going there. So we need to do the check ways on it. Oh, this is going to take some thinking. Because he's on it, he's allowed to move down, but we don't check. That's the problem, we don't check what's underneath him. Right, so the problem is, because we're checking his current block, as soon as he moves up that block, he's in the solid block, but he's already there. Everything's the solid block, so he can't move anyway because we're, we're saying left and right, can't, he can't do it. So, as Stuart has said, is we need to um, check the block below, but we need to check the block below at a specific point. So, um, what I'm going to do is, that's going, it's here, this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um,
get his high res sprite. We're going to go to the library. We're going to get screen Y. So get Y. I don't think I've got a screen Y. Yeah. So we get Y, which is the result is in the accumulator. So JSR lib sprites dot get y which is now in the accumulator then we're going to and it with that's 16 there we go 7 so we if we then say if it's on the seventh pixel check below yeah if it's not, then so we compare it to that branch if not equal to, we're just testing in the normal way. So that's test behind him. See if this works. But on the seventh, on the seventh pixel, we need to test below. Now, hopefully that will be the, the character that's the wall. So compare if it's that, if it's not, yeah. If it's not, then we finish. So it's this, but if it is, um, if it is the ladder, then we test behind him. So I need to take that, put that there. All right, see what happens there. Let's see if my logic's right. Let's see if my logic's right. There we go, so we go up, go across, come back, go down, right, so that's too far up, so we'll just change, we'll just change that test, so instead of it being 7, we'll say it's 1. Go up, come down, <laughs> won't let come down, I've gone too far. Wally, <laughs> uh, right, run it again. Come, went up too far. Be all right once we get the physics engine in there. So we'll go up, we'll walk off. Walk back on, come back down. Oh, is that that? Oh. John, you forgot. You forgot. No, I didn't. And it was seven, compare it with one. Oh, this is painful.
we've got a frame going over Why is that not testing on seven? Right, let's try six. It's got to be one of these numbers. Right, here we go. Oh, that's just too far. Right, that's our that's our array there. Go up, go across. So below us is ones right now we're going to come back down right step by step here we go so we're all the twos we're okay we're all twos now where's where's the y a1 so that's one and we're still on twos A2, A3, still on twos, A5, so we jump two there, still on twos, A6, now we're on ones, so that's A6, is on ones, right, A7, A6 is on ones, so we've been, still been stopped. We should be going on. Get Y. Oh, it was six. Yeah, it's on six. Um, let's find out what we're. Let's find out what we need to be on. What what of the what of the frames do we need to be on? Right. F6, let's do this again. Who where's our ray gone? <laughs> Hang on, let me just find the array again. Uh, 35B9. Uh, 359B. Ah, there it is. So that's where our array is. Right, let's see what number we need to be testing for for the bottom of the ladder. So it's definitely seven. It's definitely seven. Go 
go up, move away, come back. Right, so we're all the twos. Yeah, I'll see you soon, mate. Right, here we go. 6, 9, 6, A. And we're still the twos. 6, B, still the... Right, so it's it's picked it up at 6, B. So... Six B. A. C. So C. What's that? C. 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 That's what we want. Okay, let's try that then. Hi SP. Let's try that then. So it, we're looking at anything like that. All right, let's see if it does it. So the wall's still stopping us, going up the ladder, go on the floor, come back to the ladder. So this is the problem. So we come down the ladder. Well, I think we've I think that's as close as we're gonna get it. So we can't go up when we're not on a ladder, can't go down, come across the ladder, we can go up, then we'll walk off, come back. Go down, walk off. All we need now is some animation for him climbing ladders. And of course, he's gone too far. <laughs> uh. But that's where the gr gravity and the physics engine, because as soon as he walks off the ladder, he would drop to the, the the floor. At the moment, he's not dropping to the floor. God dear! I don't want to do the physics engine now. So let's just reload that. Let's do it again. So that's fire. So if if he was there on fire, he would die. We we'd call him die. So here should be able to go up. Yeah. Can't get off because we're too look with just a little bit too low, so we'll go a bit higher. That would kill us. But then we come back to here and he drops and we carry on. So what we can do is could we could I suppose we could test for him walking on the flames, I suppose. Um, cool, that flicker's just too, just too long, isn't it? What's in the red zone? What's in the red zone? It must be this. 
It must be that. The animation's just taking just too long. Sorted it. Right, so we need to think about um, we need to think about the phys we need to think about when he fall when he walks off something that he'll just drop until he hits something. Now we haven't got any tests for when he's jumping. Oh, I think I broke the jump. Looks like it. Yeah, I broke the jump. I broke the jump. That can be something for somebody to test. Yeah. The 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 problem is I mean in reality, when you get to the top of the ladder you just walk off and then gravity will pick gravity will pull you back to the floor. At the moment, we haven't got the gravity engine, the, the physics engine in place. So it wouldn't be, it's not going to be too much of an issue that. So, but what I, what we did do was, um, because we're not testing, because we're not testing below him, we're saying, what are you on at the moment? So if he was there, then the, the, the ladder would be, what are you on? At the moment, we're not testing below that, you know, that he's got a ladder beyond low him because we've just had a problem that it went too far. It went too far below and caused an issue. Um, it, it got stuck down here. So I think, I don't mind that, you know, he gets stuck on the top of a ladder because when we get it, we'll just get, you know, you can just walk off and fall to the floor. So that's what we need to do, really. So when there's nothing below him, we make him fall to the floor. Um, the question is, how fast do we make him fall to the floor? <laughs> that's the question. How fast do we make him fall to the floor? Um, see where would we put it if we're thinking physics engine where, where would we put it so we can't do the physics engine when he's going up or down so it can only be the physics engine could only work when he's doing left and right Okay. Um, do we do it before he does the left and right? Do we do we f perform the drop before he does the left and right? We could do.
Um, that's going to be another tricky one as well. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. But what 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 I'm trying to determine is um, we could do the same as the ladder, I suppose. Check what current block is on, if it's space, make him fall. Check on the seventh pixel, the, the block below. If that's space, make him fall, make him still fall. Um, we could, let's, let's, let's see if we can quickly knock it together. So we'll, we'll copy the ladder code, because that's what we're looking at. Yeah. So um, let's create another routine here. Input is why uh, right, so we get Y on the seventh frame, then we test behind we'll test behind him. Test behind them. So, um, Okay, so on the seventh we test behind them. So this is where we test, because if um, they can fall through any, anything, so what do we want to make? What do we want to make it st stop? Um, We'll do the solid block. We'll test for a solid block. So we test bit. Yeah.
This is what I'm trying to, trying to work out. So if we test the bottom on the seventh frame and it's a solid block, then we need them to stop. We need it to stop falling. So RTS. If what on the seventh frame there's nothing below it, as in it's not a solid block, it's anything else, then we test. Uh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. the bottom is it empty yes then we let them fall right let's just run this out at the moment is it empty yes If it's not, then we just jump out. Right, I'm just going to ram this out for a moment. And we will do the, the fall. I have no idea why I've done that. No idea why I've done that. I'll look at that later. Right. So we load. Right. So we load with that. We are not. Right, okay, let's see if that, um, so we need to do gravity pull before we do anything in Quasi. So update Quasi, here we go. So LDY, oops. Uh, we need a sprite.
Right. <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> Quasi floats off into space. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay. Was he floats off into space? Oh, that was a funny one. Now that's the problem, yeah? That is the problem. So we have the same problem as we had with the ladder. So, um, how are we going to do that? Can't drop, can't drop him. Oh, this, this is, oh, this is the problem. Ah. ah. Can't drop him unless he's got nothing underneath him. But the problem is now that we test it. Oh. Um. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. The problem, the problem is that um, we are testing. His surroundings and the problem is as soon as he, as soon as he crosses into a, a character, we test the next line down. Where's those six bytes? There they are. Right, up we go.
Right, let's slow this down so we can see what's going on. So as soon as we walk off, there you go, he's starting to fall. Two, 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 one, one, there. It's picked one, one. That means it's picked these two characters here already. And so it stopped it because it's not... We need another test in there. We need another test in there. And maybe, maybe the test is the other way round from... Maybe it's the other way round. Okay, so let's try this. So, get rid of that, and Right, we get the Y, we test for the one. If it's not equal, carry on. If it is, drop out. Right, let's see if that works. Just turned it on its head. Oh, come on. Now I'm not going up. Okay, what would stop that happening? What would stop that happening? Uh, if it's an empty block, No. If there's an empty block underneath them. Right, 
Let's see if that sorts it out. Because it was dropping because it was a lad. It, we was only testing for empty blocks. Now I'm testing for the ladder. See if it does it. See if it allows us to go up. It's not an empty block. I want it to go up. But I want it only to test for the solid block. So if it's not a solid block, right, F6. Let's try again. Test to see if Quasi is above. I don't know, I'm about to find out. We've got a problem with the jump anyway. Let's just see if that routine that I've just put in is stopping us climbing the ladder. Yes, so that's stopping us climbing the ladder. Um, I mean the jumps, look, the jump's screwed up because it's trying to do the gravity on it. it to do is when it tests for a solid block then to test its position so if the solid blocks below it because it will test it will right let's try this again Compare with a solid block. If it's not equal to a solid block below it, then exit. We don't need to do the minus. If it is a solid block, get the Y and it. Compare with that. And if it's E. Oh! Ooh! 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 That could be the reason. Out, mate. Right, so climb the ladder. Okay, we've climbed the ladder, so we st <laughs> we're still working. Now, do we fall to the floor? No. put a break point in this and let's see what where my thinking is gone all screwed up um, here that's where I think it's screwing up that's where I think it's screwing up 
Right, here we go. Right, let's find our array. Should be around about the three, four, three, four, three, five mark. There it is. There it is. So that's our array. So it's saying currently fires underneath him. Yeah. So, ooh. Come on, Quasi. Off you go. Ooh, have I got it too slow? There we go. Right, oh. Okay. And where are we at? B. Oh, it's gone out. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to achieve, mate. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Um, right, so it's... That's where I need to go there. Right, F11. Right, off you go. So we'll go up the ladder. And then we fall off. Right. So this is now falling in falling. So I want to test, I want to stop there. Here we go. Right, so this is where we've tested there's a block at the bottom and I want to complete the test. Now he's at A6, so this should carry on. Oh, but it's not. It's not equal to four. Oh. I think this is where it stops the ladder, doesn't it? It stops us walking up the ladder if I do that. Um, oh, I've got the break points in still. Hang on. Yeah, it stops us going up the ladder. So, if it's an empty block, drop. If it's not an empty block, test for a solid block. If it's not a solid block, exit. It should be not doing it. Oh, but it is, isn't it? Pants.
Right, we need to put another test in here. Right, this one is for uh, center right. Right, so it's a solid block beneath him. Now we're, we are um, loading the block that he's behind, in front of, comparing it with an empty block. If it's not an empty block, then we go to exit. If this is an empty block, then we do the test. Right, let's see if that fixes it. So we should be able to go up the ladder, which we do. And we should still be able to fall. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We have gravity. Oh, the jump's still screwed up. But we have, we have a falling quasi. So, when he's up here, and we moved across, it, it comes down, look. <laughs> up, falls down. So now, It's testing below. It's testing to see if he's got free air below him. Yeah. So as soon as he's got free air below him, which is there, he falls. So what we need to do is um, we need to make him. Um, fall into the pits, these pits. So, um, but then he's dead anyway, isn't he? Because he's been spiked. The problem is with the fire. But we can test the blocks below him and if if the block below him is uh, fire, is dead anyway. Well, it's a simple physics engine. It's a simple one, but it does the job. I'll have to figure out what I screwed up. <laughs> well, we screwed up the jump. <laughs> Yeah, he lands at the correct height. Right, let's see if he um, see if he lands on this um, platform. Oh, look at that! He does. Right. So so we we need to we need to sort out the we need to sort out the jump. Um, I'm just wondering. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, 
It's certainly, um, it's, yeah, it's certainly, I think we just need to test for if he's in jump mode. Hang on, let me just test. Let me just, right, here we go. So if he's jumping, right, so if he's, right, if he's jumping, then we'll bypass the gravity calculation. Yeah. Let's try that. <laughs> right. Let's see. Have we screwed his jump? Right, the jump's there. So he's back. He's jumping as back to his normal self. Now, I don't... Th I don't think... Look at that he's on the edge and he's down I don't think we're jumping high enough for it to register yeah we need to sort the, the jump come out because the we've screwed up the direction of jump and he's not actually he's not actually moving now when he jumps um, so we've we've broken something on the way well so we've got him interacting with the so he gets blocked by walls um, so if we walk into this wall he'll stop we can climb ladders but if there's no ladder there he can't climb so if Gravity is now pulling him to the the floor. Need to sort out the jump. Well, that can be another stream. Right. I think we've done all. I think we've done all right here. I mean, code's a bit messy, but that's for you guys to uh, tidy up. I'm waiting for you guys to start adding code to this thing. But we've got the basic mechanics there. You know that he's now he's now um, yeah we we definitely need to get the jump we need to get the jump fixed. So we can do that on the next stream I think figure out what's doing on on, the, and then decide um, if if he drops a long way does he die because at the moment. He can drop all the way down and he won't die. But I think that's something that we can we can discuss. But yeah, he's falling down. It's not um, meters per second per second. <laughs> it's just a straight line, isn't it? Straight line. Straight line. Oh well, who cares? I mean, Bruce Lee did gravity like this, didn't he? He did gravity like that, straight down. Yeah, he did gravity like that. So, we are following a professional. Right. I, I, I think that's a pretty good place to stop. So we've got him interacting with the walls. We've got him interacting with the ladders we've got the gravi simple gravity engine installed so he's he's now naturalizing on the the slabs i think it's a good place to stop well thank you guys for helping me out quasi <laughs> quasi lander <laughs> Yeah, I know the, the physics engine in that was a lot better, but we don't need a complex phys physics engine in this, I don't think. I think the physics engine, if we want a complex one, we'd, we'd have to uh, make the jump um, more, um, 
more realistic to make the physics engine properly work. Right, I will say thank you and I will see you next time. All right, guys, thank you very much for being with me. I'll talk to you later. Bye. I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.